Hi, Julie here again. This week's Sunday snippet, I'm just going to cover off adding textures to your images. I get asked this all the time by people who are just a little unsure of what to do. You don't have to overthink it. Um, something like this image here, which is a great image of some star anise and cinnamon sticks. Now there's quite a bit of um, action happening through here where it's all in focus but in the background it's quite a little quite a lot of blur and it's very soft so this is something where a bit of texture can really make a difference so I've just grabbed a texture this is Bon 9 from the Bon Appetit collection um, which I have specifically made to sort of go with food and things like that so I've dragged it over and I've put it on my on top of my image so that's it there so you can scale it to make it a little bit bigger a little bit smaller it doesn't have to be um, precise it just needs to cover the image and if you stretch in the pixels a little bit for something like this it doesn't really matter so what you can then do is go and change your blend mode for something like this you would probably look at maybe overlay or soft light I think soft light is quite nice so I'm going to select that now it's too much so what we're going to do is we're going to scale it back just a little bit we don't want it overpowering just a little bit then what we're going to do is if you put on a layer mask which is so it's this square with the red with the black circle in the middle and with a brush set to black I'm going to come in make it a soft brush put your hardness all the way down so it's not quite so strong it's a little bit softer to paint on so what I'm doing is I am through this layer mask I am removing that texture from certain parts of the image where I really don't want it to be quite so strong no I'm going to if you take something off if you switch your brush to white you can brush it back in so I'm just taking it off a little bit here and there so this is what I just brushed off which was this now I can fix that area up there a bit more and there's a few areas that I missed so I'm just going to go in and paint them in so this is what I've ended up with and this is where I go hmm it's still a little bit strong on the edges so I can drop the opacity down a little bit more now because of the color that's in the original image that I put on it has changed the tone of my image if I didn't want it to do that what I could do is come in here go to black and white I can clip that to the image below so now this image is texture only there's no color to it at all so if I take that off it's more yellow put that back on it goes back to black and white so you can use a texture of the image without using any of the color and tonal range so that's just a quick little snippet on using some textures thanks for watching bye for now